So the next thing that we need is a ring stand which you have all used before and we need the clamp. Use the small clamp because we are using a 50 milliliter flask. If you are using a larger flask then you can use a larger clamp. However, please use the heavier clamp fastener. Do not use the clamp fastener that comes with the small clamp provided to you. So, let us attach this clamp to the ring stand using this fastener. Which level you attach this right now does not matter. We will adjust the level later depending on where we want it. Okay. So now what we need of course is to place the heating mantle and then attach the flask in which we will take our liquid that is to be distilled. However, remember any time you are trying to boil a liquid, you need to have something inside the flask so that the liquid doesn't boil over to destroy the bubbles if you will. So for that what we are usually we do is either add boiling stones as you have seen before or in today's case we are going to place a magnetic stir bar. Now this is what a magnetic stir bar looks like. This is called an oval shaped or an egg shaped magnetic stir bar. So you are going to place the magnetic stir bar inside the flask. We will attach the flask shortly. So keep the flask with the magnetic stir bar and what this magnetic stir bar does is when you place it above what is called a stirrer. This is a stirrer. When you plug this stirrer to an electrical outlet as before, take the plug through the hole in here. And when you turn this on using the dial, electricity produces magnetism and this stir bar being magnetic will rotate in the magnetic field. So this stirring mechanism will break up the bubbles that will be formed in the liquid when you heat it. Okay, so this is a magnetic stirring machine. We have the stir ball in here. Of course, I'm going to clamp the flask, but I just want to show you how the stirrer and the magnetic stir bar work together. Let us turn this off. 